In this video, I'll be discussing the PN junction diode characteristics, uh, the connections. So for this, firstly, so here I'm not able to display the image. Uh, so I, I would recommend people actually seeing the image from their observation books. So firstly, we're asked to connect the RPS positive to ammeter positive. So RPS positive, this is the ammeter positive. So red is positive, right? Positive. And then from the negative, we are supposed to connect it to the one kilo one kilo ohm resistor. So here is our resistor, and here we know it is one kilo ohm. So let's bring it on, bring it to the breadboard, and then we have to connect it from the negative of the ammeter. Negative to be connected to the resistor. Let me change the color to black and then you have to next connect it to the positive of the diode. So the one with the white stripe is the negative side, and the other side will be the positive side. So positive should be connected to the resistor. Since it should be on the same line, I'll connect it below. And then the negative should be connected to the ground. So let me ground this. Yeah. So now we are done with the half of the connections. Uh, something which we forgot is to connect the RPS negative. The RPS negative is grounded. Usually it is grounded in most of the circuits. Yeah. Okay. And next, I uh, will connect the voltmeter. So, voltmeter negative is grounded. Negative. Putting it in the same line. Is grounded. And voltmeter positive is connected uh, here. That is in the junction of resistor and positive of diode. So here to positive of voltmeter. Let me change the color to red. Okay, nice. So now we are done with the connections. Let's do the process of simulation. So here, so here, firstly in forward bias, we are supposed to change the applied voltage and we have to note down the values of the forward voltage, that means the voltmeter, this one, and the ammeter. So initially, I am giving a value of 0. So we see that the forward voltage and the forward current, both of them are 0. Now slowly increasing in the terms of 0 0.1, 0 0.1, so 0 0.1 is nothing but 100 millivolt, it is giving 100 millivolt of forward voltage that is 0 0.1 forward voltage and the forward current remains 0. Next I'll increase it to 0 0.2, 0 0.2 it is increasing linearly as we see it like the forward voltage also becomes 0 0.2 volts, in millivolts it is 200 millivolts. Increasing to 3, 3 is giving 0 0.3 millivolt, no sorry 0 0.3 volt which is 300 millivolts and then I'll make it 0 0.4, 0 0.4 we see a very small change and then 0 0.5, so 0 0.5 it's becoming 0 0.45 millivolt. 0 0.6, 0 0.6, it is 480 millivolts. So keep increasing till 1. I'll directly increase it to 1. So when it comes to 1, when the applied voltage is 1 volt, the forward voltage is 0 0.5 volts. That means 516 
many words as it is shown over here. So I increase it further. And according to the experiment, you have to increase it till 3. And we have to check the values. So here we see the current changes from 0 0.4 onwards. Before that, the current wasn't changing. From 0 0.4, 0 0.5, yeah, from 0 0.5, the current starts to change. Until then, the current doesn't change. 0 0.3, 0 0.2, it doesn't change. So from 0 0.5, 0.6, there is a change in the current. So here I have taken a micro uh, ammeter, but then usually in our experiment they will give a milliammeter. So according to that, you will just convert it into 10 power minus, into 10 power 3 will become our milliampere. So this is the experiment. 